Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. In this video, I'll be giving you hints on how to pass Wayek Biologic with ease. If you benefit from this video, please show your support. And the best way you can show that support is by liking and subscribing. Welcome back. Without further ado, let us delve straight into the video. Wyatt Biology is mainly divided into three sections. The first paper, paper one, which is the objective, paper two, which is the theory, paper three, which is the practicals. We are going to analyze these sections according to this order. The first, which is the objective, is very, very important. If you go through your past question, you see several of the years is 52 questions to be answered within 15 minutes, depending. A very good hint for you, get yourself acquainted with the most repeated wire topics. For this reason, I suggest you should watch the jump version of this video. Once you are done watching it, I believe it will help you in answering the objectives of your wire. If you are done doing that, attempt these wire questions. <laughs> The second section is a theoretical aspect. Here you should get yourself acquainted with how Wayek set their questions in theory. If you go through your past questions, you find out the two sections Wayek has divided the theoretical aspect into section A and section B. Section A is usually compulsory for the whole of West Africa and section B is particular or peculiar to your country. For example, those in Nigeria, section B, you might have a question that is just for Nigerians. So you go ahead and attempt it. For example, you might come into your exam hall and the first question you are saying is, what is a cell? Maybe 1A, what is a cell? 1B, draw the structure or use a diagram to represent a cell. And you must learn how to draw the cell and label it appropriately. Usually I advise to label to one side, maintain one side, don't just label any side you like, to one side. Please pay attention to this. In addition, attempt the question on your screen. Leave your answer in the comment section. It might be bulky, but do yourself that good and leave your answer in the comment section. The next part is the practical section, which is something you should take very, very seriously. There is alternative to practicals too. In the practical, you might be given a specimen to identify. Your ability to identify that specimen would determine whether you answer the question below it or associated with it. You might be given a specimen and then you're told to add a drop of iodine. Write out your findings and then you're given several other questions to answer relating to it. You should know that table in your test book or that experiment that explains the test of starch, protein, fat and oil and the rest of them. If you are given a liver or if you are given an organ in the body, be able to identify that organ. If you fail in identifying it, you definitely fail the subsequent questions. Please, practice as often as you can. If it will require you to approach your biology teacher to make clear certain topics, please do so. It is better you are laughed at before the exam than during the exam. Please do this. A bonus point for you, having reached to this point of this video. I would advise you should be time conscious while writing your exam. And please be accurate while attempting the question. Also, before the exam, you should practice as many past questions as you can. Because as you practice, you get better. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I believe this video was beneficial to you. And if you know someone you think it would be of benefit to, please do well to share the video to the person. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
I'll see you in my next video. Bye.